Apple just updated their 13-inch MacBook Pro line, sadly, but this is not whiter than rumored 14-inch MacBook Pro, but better than nothing. So, is it good enough for iOS development and which model is better, 16-inch MacBook Pro or this updated 13-inch MacBook Pro? Let's sort that out. <laughs> So let's start with good news. There is no anymore any MacBook Pro in the market with old butterfly keyboards. So that is closed page. Uh, now all the MacBook Pros have new Magic keyboard and also two months ago updated MacBook Air have this Magic keyboard. Storage is updated as well. Now it's doubled. No more 128 gigabytes of storage for very base model. That is it. Very base model have previous generation CPUs. So there is no update for that. Basically, if you will pick base model for $1300 in US, in Europe it's a bit more pricey. You will got the same 13 inch MacBook Pro but with updated keyboard and uh, doublet storage size. Is it good machine for development? Mm, not very much because you will feel uh, that you will need more RAM quite soon. 8 GB of RAM is just not enough. So, and there is also only two Thunderbolt ports in this base machine and that is bare minimum to survive. So you will use one port for charging, one port you will use for one of those SSD. Uh, if you will have a base model with 256 gigabytes of SSD, you will need one. And if you will attach your phone or iPad to charge during development, so you're already running out of the ports. So for iOS development, I will skip uh, both base models and will take a look on 1800 13-inch MacBook Pro, which have already four Thunderbolt 3 ports, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD and also updated processor, i5 10 generation processor which is much better than previous generation processors in base in, in cheaper models. But for iOS development, you probably would like to have i7 processor, especially if you are looking on Swift UI development and uh, Swift development in general. Processor power, you will like to have more, more is better. So let's take a look on upgrade for i7. After processor upgrade to i7 or cheap, 13-inch MacBook Pro will cost $2,000 in US. So if we will take a look on prices on base 16-inch MacBook Pro, it is just $400 more expensive. And 16-inch MacBook Pro uh, base model for this $400 more already have 512 gigabytes SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, two more cores in i7 processor, which is already included in base model. So, a bit more pricey, but already a little bit more on those base specifications. If we will look what else we have for those $400, uh, dollars, we have much better GPU cards. There are dedicated uh, video cards in this 16-inch MacBook Pro. If you are looking in video or photo editing, uh, that will be huge benefit to have it. Even if you are edit videos or photos casually, that will help a lot. But even if you are not planning to do anything like that and uh, you are using this machine only for development, that 16-inch MacBook Pro will be able to handle more screens. For example, I have 49-inch uh, 5K screen here and that 16-inch MacBook Pro will be able to handle at least one more the same screen. 16-inch MacBook Pro can handle two 6K screens or four 4K screens. 13-inch MacBook Pro will be able to handle only two 4K screens. Of course, 16-inch uh, have bigger screen and screen is significantly bigger than 13-inch screen. External size is not so uh, different because uh, this updated 13-inch MacBook Pro still have those huge bezels around the screen. 16-inch have 
much smaller bezels and the screen is quite big comparing with 13 inch and external sizes I compared it with my old uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro difference is not so big and as soon as you will put this uh, MacBook in your backpack size do not matters anymore but uh, when you work those three extra inches make huge difference i was long time 13 inch uh, macbook user i always was feeling that it is um, manageable but i always changed something in xcode uh, hide to hide some uh, side columns or something like that to make this work a little bit more comfortable on 16 inch i use xcode the same like on uh, my external screen so basically i don't have any problems with that i feel really comfortable working on 16 inch screen and um, i don't see myself going back to smaller screen 13 inch screen let's see what i will say when and if 14 inch macbook pro will be released by apple of course i will take a look on that uh, to compare uh, with 16 inch as well uh, small thing but uh, in my opinion uh, important as well audio is a little bit better in 16 inch as well uh, maybe output is not so important but microphone is very very good in 16 inch uh, macbook pro you actually don't need external microphone for any conference calls and so on and um, believe me you don't uh, like to be the one person in the com conference call with bad audio so some kind of conclusion if you are not looking for most portable development machine then 16 inch macbook pro is just a little bit more expensive than uh, spaced out uh, 13 inch macbook pro but in my opinion much better development machine but if you are limited in budget so instead of looking on base 13 inch macbook pro take a look on macbook air <laughs> this is updated as well and uh, there is great keyboard without uh, touch bar maybe you like this function case and then you will be happy to see keyboard on macbook air and Processor wise, it is not so uh, slower than base 13 inch MacBook Pro. The same two Thunderbolt ports and uh, even better video card performance. So take a look on that. But if you see that you could live with uh, desktop uh, setup for development, well, Mac mini, that is the best uh, performance for dollar. I compared my 16 inch MacBook Pro with my uh, Mac Mini. Results were surprising. I, you can take a look on those tests. Mac Mini is very powerful machine for third of price of 16 inch MacBook Pro. If I could live without MacBook uh, during my trips and on weekends on summer house and just uh, moving around, uh, I will stick with Mac Mini for development. That is a very good machine and I highly recommend that as a machine for beginners if you can live with desktop computer but i have dedicated videos for that take a look if you like to they are in one playlist about development machines so that was about uh, that was about it about this uh, 13 inch versus 16 inch macbook pro yes i don't have <laughs> hardware on my hands to compare but basically it uh, looks obliviously for me and i uh, hope that this video was helpful for all of you who are questioning which machine is better for development so thank you for watching if you did so far hit that like button and maybe decide to subscribe as well to see my next videos thank you for watching see you on next one bye